There's been a lot of hype sneakers this year, a bunch of collaborations, and even some solid GR colorways popping off. But let's be honest, nobody brings the hype quite like Travis Scott. I mean, his last release literally broke records for the most sneaker raffle entries. Let's find out if this latest upcoming pair can live up to the hype. And here we have the box. I hope you guys are ready for a super dope unboxing experience because that's what we're about to get into. As you can see, it is a solid black box sleeve with a bunch of different branding like the Jordan Wings logo, the Cactus Jack logo, Nike branding. There's just a bunch of logos all over it. And when you pull off the sleeve, you reveal an all over blacked out Jordan 1 box, which looks absolutely killer. Absolutely no Travis Scott branding, just the standard Jordan 1 box just murdered out. Up and off the lid, you get met with with some pretty unusual paper. And unwrapping the paper, each sneaker is wrapped up in this paisley print bandana. Let me do this like some kind of magician. Today, we've got the Jordan 1 Travis Scott Black Phantom. Also included in the box is two extra pairs of laces. You've got one with a really interesting design. It's kind of just black and white. And then you've got an all over red color. And then laced up on the sneakers themselves is an all over black pair with this kind of waxy style to them, which looks pretty sick. And here we have them guys, laced up and ready to go. One of the final kind of massive sneaker drops for 2022. Jordan 1 Travis Scott Black Phantom. And how about that special unboxing experience, right? That, that's pretty dope. Definitely a better unboxing experience than I was anticipating. Now straight off the bat, I need to give you the release details on this pair of sneakers, guys, because you're gonna need all the help you can get. So these are actually dropping this Thursday, December the 15th. Now as of recording, they haven't actually loaded up on the Nike sneakers app, at least here in the UK. So I expect they should load up within the next day or two, along with a bunch of other raffles that you can go and enter. And these are gonna be retailing for 140 pounds here in the UK or $150 if you're out in the US. The rumor for this pair of sneakers is that there's a relatively high stock number for a Travis Scott Jordan 1 collaboration. These are apparently supposed to be the highest produced out of all of the other Travis Scott Jordans that we've seen. Obviously, that doesn't really mean much when you consider the amount of demand for this pair of sneakers is going to be insane. Like for reference, Nike CEO confirmed that there was 3.8 million entries on the Nike sneakers app for the Jordan 1 low Travis Scott reverse mocha. Not only that, but when the reverse mochas dropped on Travis Scott's website, there was 2.4 million entries. So yeah, essentially just enter as many raffles as possible for this pair of shoes. With all that being said, if you do end up grabbing this pair of sneakers, you'll be met with quite a few different surprises. Obviously, you just saw that unboxing experience, which is pretty different when you compare it to other Jordan 1 Travis Scott releases. The inclusion of the branded sleeves, the extra bandanas, and of course the laces all come together to make it quite a premium feeling pair of shoes. Now, to add to that, this sneaker actually kind of feels like a whole different vibe when you compare it to the those other Travis Scott Jordan 1 lows specifically. The starters, and most obviously, it is completely different color blocking to anything we've seen. It is straight up blacked out on every single panel. You think that this is a perfect example of how to do a triple black sneaker right. Like 
similarly to how you would style an all over black outfit. If you can't play with colors, then play with textures. The base material on this pair of shoes is a really soft nubuck, which you find on the perforated toe box, the medial and lateral, and of course the Nike swoosh. And the overlays on this pair of shoes come in a much rougher suede material, which you find wrapping around acting as the mud guard up by the eye stays and around towards the back of the shoe. And just that switch up in textures and material gives this shoe a whole nother level in terms of how it looks on foot and in hand. It even gives it a slight contrast in color. That softer nubuck looks a little bit lighter than that rougher suede. Then of course you get to the white stitching, which runs across pretty much every single panel on this pair of sneakers as well. It's definitely a welcome touch on this pair of sneakers. It kind of accentuates the Nike swoosh and all of the different panels that you get on here. So you can really see the outlines of that iconic Jordan 1 low. We even thought about those textures when it comes to the laces on this pair of sneakers. As you can see, they're a lot stiffer and they come with that wax coating. Not only feels extra premium, but definitely gives it a much different look in comparison to a regular pair of laces. Even the sock liner is incredibly different to a standard pair of Jordan 1s or even a Travis Scott collaboration. This one comes in a really fluffy, cozy material. And then again, in terms of the appearance of the sneaker, that sock liner kind of spills over the edge just to add an additional layer of texture to this sneaker. So obviously in terms of making a triple black sneaker with all of these different textures on this pair of shoes, it turns out so much more interesting than just a regular pair of triple black sneakers. Now, of course, this wouldn't be a Travis Scott collaboration without the branding. The most obvious branding on this pair of sneakers is, of course, that giant reverse swoosh, which you find on the lateral side of the sneaker. That reverse swoosh is on all of his Jordan 1s and even some of his other Nike branded collaborations. Now, something that we've seen on the previous collabs that is present on this one is that very subtle Cactus Jack branding, which you find on the medial side of the sneaker. Lincoln, you'll miss it because that branding is in black as well. So yeah, super subtle. And you've got the Cactus Jack logo and branding on on the tongue of this sneaker, which is kind of down the side of the shoe. Again, that's something that we've seen on previous Jordan 1 collaborations with Travis Scott. Now, the back of the sneaker is actually where things change up a little bit, because instead of the Cactus Jack smiley or frowny face, whatever that logo is, this time you get an embroidered B. From my understanding, that B logo that's on the heel tab of this sneaker is some kind of reference to Travis Scott's daughter, Stormy. I'm not entirely sure the link to his daughter, Stormy, but that's pretty much all I know. And then to finish off all of the branding on this sneaker, the insoles are absolutely plaster. Now on the pair of shoes, the insoles are actually glued down. So I'll just show you an image of all of the different logos, the Travis Scott, the Cactus Jack, the Jordan brand. You got all of the logos on there. In terms of throwing these on foot and of course sizing, I personally tend to go true to size when it comes to the Jordan 1 low. So that's what I'm going to recommend to you. Now overall, say what you will about this pair of sneakers, it potentially looking too plain, but I kind of think that they're onto something with this sneaker. Now granted, obviously it's not as flashy or heavy turning as some of the other Jordan 1 lows that Travis Scott has collaborated on, but there's a lot to this sneaker that kind of surprised me and I'm sure it's going to surprise you. All of the different materials, the white stitch embroidery, the special unboxing, the extra laces, it's really as good as a triple black sneaker can get. And it's also obviously super wearable and versatile. You can throw these things on with pretty much any outfit. I guess in comparison to other Travis Scott Jordans, these are probably going to hold up the best. Being all over blacked out, they're certainly not going to show up with as many creases and scuff and dirt marks. I guess you got longevity as another pro for this pair of shoes. It's definitely a solid sneaker for a Travis Scott collaboration. And if that price goes down a bit, this might end up being one of the first Travis Scott Jordans I add to my collection. But listen, solid pair. I think you'll be happy with them if you do get them. And obviously if you get them for retail, that will be a massive W. With all that being said, guys, I think it's time you go and enter some of those raffles if you are after this pair of shoes. But before you go, let me know what you think of these things down in the comments section. Do you like them? Do you not like them? Are you going to be going for them? Thank you so much for coming through, hanging out for yet again another video. Thank you for liking, commenting, and of course subscribing. I'll catch you guys in the next one. But until then. <laughs>